Well, it's Labor Day weekend, and California Highway Patrol is sweeping the state looking for people impaired behind the wheel. And it's not just drunk drivers they're after. They're keeping an eye out for people high on marijuana. Reporter Rachel Kim has more on how they weed out impaired drivers. With folks who are under the influence of narcotics or marijuana, they, they tend to react slower. The, the, the way they turn the steering wheel, the way they apply the brakes. CHP officer Vince Ramirez says their focus during the Labor Day weekend isn't just cracking down on drunk driving. This year, they're also looking for drugged driving. We still will perform the field sobriety tests just like we would with alcohol. Officer deals with the Highway Patrol. This is a DUI checkpoint. May I see your driver's license? At checkpoints like this, if officers believe a driver is under the influence of something other than alcohol, like marijuana, here's what will happen next. Once we uh, place them on the wrist, we take them to a hospital where there is a blood draw. If they decline the uh, blood test, then they lose their license for a year. I see your driver's license, please. In cases where somebody committed a, a serious crime, say a DUI crash, there is a way to get the blood through a, a warrant. Officer Ramirez says because there is no legal limit for marijuana like there is for alcohol, it's a bit more challenging. But since the legalization of recreational marijuana a year ago, the CHP has trained officers to be DREs or drug recognition experts. They have to look for clues that affect drivers differently than alcohol. With uh, marijuana, for example, we look at the eyes. We listen to the way they speak. A lot of times they have a slow speech or slower speech. Where are you guys coming from tonight? You should not be getting behind the wheel of a car if you're ingesting marijuana. 